Will a Brighton-based community interest company secure Arts Council England funding to create a film bringing together 42 of the UK's most experienced, inclusive disability dance artists and companies? Absolutely amazing. And guess what? As I say, they're Brighton-based, which is uh, even better. And joining me now, we have Natasha Britton and Erica Moshman, uh, who are artistic directors of Parable Dance. Welcome to both of you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Great to see you. What a fantastic idea. How long has the company been going for? Uh, not very long. We've, we formed in 2019. We've been working in inclusive dance for a number of years, but uh, decided to set up in Brighton just in, in 2019. Obviously, then the pandemic hit, so it's been um, a challenging first couple of years. I can imagine. So how have you actually survived the last 12 months? Because it must have been stop, go, stop, start and doing stuff on, on Zoom, I assume. Um, we obviously haven't been able to lead in-person sessions, so lots of uh, the, the practical workshops that we had planned have been cancelled. And um, we do a lot of mentoring for supporting other artists and uh, observing their work, and that's obviously been cancelled um, because classes aren't taking place. Um, but it kind of created a space for us to be able to develop the work that we're doing at the moment, which is this wonderful film that brings together artists from all over the country. So that's that's been our focus for the past and how, year. How, how did you manage that? Erica, do you want to? Yeah, um, we just, we realized when everything went into lockdown that um, there was no sort of way for, or that people were being able to start to connect more um, just over Zoom and other kind of platforms. So we thought it would be nice to um, try to get together a resource um, that people starting out in inclusive dance could could come to um, just to kind of see what see what's out there. Um, so we reached out to at first just a small handful of artists and the response was pretty enthusiastic so we kind of expanded from there and then it's turned into this. Yeah, what, what, do, what, what does inclusive dance mean? It's a, it's, a, it's a very broad term so essentially it's about including everyone in dance um, but some it depends on the uh, the groups and the kind of the setup it could be that it's a class that's that encompasses everybody and everybody's welcome within a session. It could be a session that's uh, specifically aimed at people with learning disabilities, for example. So it's it's about making sure that everybody has access to dance, essentially. Yeah. And, and in your film, of course, uh, you've got people with, with very serious disabilities as well. Um, well, the, the people who fe feature in the film have um, a variety of disabilities, but they're all paid dance artists uh -huh. and the dance feature. That, that is really unusual, isn't it? I mean, uh, obviously, the, 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 the message of dance and the, and the language of dance is universal. Uh, and it's so, so important, certainly over the last 12 months, uh, with lockdown, depression and what have you. This must help in many ways. I hope so. I mean, the we when we were when we started out in 2019, it was one of our goals to, like, from the beginning, pay people with disabilities for their contributions just like um just like everybody and we've managed to do that now for every project we have going right now um is happening so i think part of i mean the main the main reason that we have our film is to again like have a resource out there for people to um to utilize for if they're interested in getting into inclusive dance but um i think you'll see sort of breaks in the film. So there are people talking and then there are all, we've got dancers as well. We have eight dancers with varying abilities. Um, so I hope that it is also an um, easing of mental health and all of that in this time as well. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure. So, so why did the idea come up? You know, why, why, the, why the film? I guess at the beginning of the very first lockdown, we were both very conscious of the fact that um, lots of our friends, you know, we have many friends in the arts who are losing work arts um, organizations closing down, facing financial difficulty. And we were all kind of reaching out to each other a lot more than usual, checking in and, and seeing how everyone was doing. And it became quite obvious that we needed to do something collaborative to kind of keep together and support each other. Mm -hmm. um, and as well as that, you know, we wanted to create a project where we could be paying as many artists as possible so that it kind of spread the work. And, That's good. And That's nice. spread the income. Yeah. Erica, what's your, what's your background? Um, yeah, I moved to London in 2013. Um, I'm from New York originally, and I was working with a, a dance company that has 
uh, disabled and non-disabled dancers. And then when I came here, I found out the vast network of inclusive dance here in the UK, which is really much bigger and more established than it is in the US. Um, and then I kind of found my way into uh, working with people with learning disabilities and then continue to expand from there. And I met Natasha through one of the companies that we uh, both worked for. So I started out, I believe, uh, yeah, at 2014 um, here uh, and just have been trying to work in all areas of inclusive dance since then. Uh -huh. Funny enough, that, Natasha, that was my next question actually, was, was how did you two meet? And that's just been answered. But what's, what's your background, <laughs> Natasha? Um, so I'm Brighton, um, born and bred, and I went up to Trinity Laban in London for university, and I ended up developing most of my career up in London. So I taught uh, in lots of different places, different companies for 20 years. And Parable was really a chance for, for us to, um, to develop the skills that, you know, the, the work that we wanted to create, but also for me to be able to kind of make my mark on Brighton, which is my home city. Um, so we've established some really great partnerships in Brighton with Carousel Arts and uh, South East Dance to set up weekly classes for youth and adults with learning disability. Oh. Well, which, why, why, why for people with disabilities? Is there a reason for that? Uh, why not? <laughs> I think, um, you know, our, our entire careers have been about opening access um, to everybody. For Erica and I, uh, our main kind of area of interest is people with learning disabilities and the process uh, that we go through in our classes to create work with those dancers. Um, so yeah, bringing, bringing that specialism to Brighton and opening up those opportunities for people that don't currently exist in the city. Uh -huh. Are you actually a charity? Uh, we're a community interest company. Uh -huh. So yeah, so with charitable aims, yeah. Uh -huh. So how, how do you survive? Is this from people who actually you, you, you teach, they, they pay a fee? Um, at the moment, I mean, the film was made possible with funding from Arts Council England. Um, so we're really thankful for that. Uh, and before that, we've, yeah, through personal donation or uh, fees from workshops, fees from um, uh, continuing professional development workshops and dance workshops as well. Excellent. So, so what's your website? What's the address? Uh, www.parabledance.co.uk and anyone can join in anyone can join in and we do have a how you can help us page on there as well so you know feel free to take a look at that exactly how, how long has it taken you to put the, the film together uh we started the whole we heard about our funding in september and so we had uh, the films coming in until christmas and then we put the film together in the new year and it's premiering on wednesday Oh, fantastic. And, and when is it, uh, I mean, when's people able to watch it? Where can they watch it? Uh, on Parable Dance's YouTube channel, if you subscribe, there's a countdown and the premiere is this Wednesday, the 10th at 7 p.m. Wonderful. We shall be there. We'll make sure we, we cover it. But thank you so much, Steve, for talking to us today. I wish you the very best of luck. If, if people want to get involved with you, surely they just go to your website. Absolutely, yes. And, and follow us on social media. We're on all platforms and you'll get all the latest news um, come through those channels. Brilliant, thank you so much, Lee. That's uh, Natasha Britton and Erica Marshman, uh, artistic directors of Parable Dance, and go along to their website. It'll be at the bottom of the page here. And uh, join in, help them out any way you can. It's gonna be a fantastic uh, film to watch, that's for sure. But uh, thank you very much, Lee, for joining us here today on Latest TV. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.